guys, it's Scaduto here, and I want to talk about opping at the B-bomb site on Inferno. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is going for the fastest peak uh, at Banana here, using your best spawns to your advantage. Um, what we're going to be doing is, since the meta right now is the terrorist have to Molotov car in order for, they're throwing that molly so we can't peek, or they're trying to enforce us back and they want to take control so they're going to throw this molly here that's going to explode and, um if we want to peek you know it's going to obviously do damage to us so they're they're trying to punish us from peeking so they're going to be throwing that molly every round if they're going to take banana control so um when i go into this pick my first thought is that we're gonna have to burn our smoke right away because what we're going to do is we're going to be running and be throwing the smoke and what's going to happen is um, as I throw my smoke into the corner there, the Molotov will be extinguished. And that would leave me an intentional gap here to get a quick pick or a quick peek and to see what's kind of going on and to, um, you know, get aggressive that way. Now, while all this is happening is um, I'll have the third guy at Banana sit here and he'll throw what we call the Fallen Flash. And this will just go over the roof here and it'll blow up in this general area. And that will get anyone running up banana and that'll just kind of give me that extra layer of protection needed to get a pick and to blind the terrorists who are trying to run up banana so it's a very fast action um so what it kind of looks like is as the molotov is here come back my, my smoke should leave the gap come in take a pick and you know see what you get um more times than not you usually find that somebody running up banana but you know you never know every situation is different so uh, let's just talk about let's just say we didn't get a pick and we have to fall back um i like to wait around here a little bit a little bit longer just to see if anyone's going to peek or if, see if someone wants to get aggressive and jump over this wall and you know just giving myself another opportunity to find an opening kill make it a 5v4 um so i like to spend a lot of time in the pool what they call it um top b or whatever i like to spend my time here and just look for a kill see if anyone wants to jump up up on logs this is a very common angle for terrace to jump on and to peek here so um you know i like to peek here i like to peek up here sometimes enemies will pop up from this wall and they'll do a jump peek they'll kind of jump around here for info that's always an option and even holding an offing if you think they're they haven't been flashing top b or you want to um, stay here and you think the opera is going to run up banana you want to hold an offing um, I also like to play around here in this corner it's very risky but sometimes holding an offing is you know can be very crucial in certain situations so let's say let's just keep let's keep continuing out the round and let's just say no one's peeking up banana or um, often what Terrace will do to gain control and essentially push me out of the position that I'm in is they'll throw a molly here which will land top B which will then force me back into the into the bomb site and I don't want to get caught I don't want to push this Molotov it's just far too risky um, I'm gonna give that control up and once they molly it I'm just gonna kind of fall back and and what I'm gonna do here is I'm not essentially gonna fall back to the last line of defense I'm not gonna fall spawn I'm not gonna you know hide and wait for them to come in the bomb site I'm gonna play a more aggressive angle here um, and once again I just want to give myself another opportunity to find a, a kill or anything information um, anything that I can use to help win the round, you know, any kind of info is good. Um, so what I like to do is I like to play a more aggressive angle. I don't like to fall all the way back. I don't like to be that last line, last line of the fence until it's really necessary. So at this point we have no smoke. We still have a molly. Um, we still have nades to kind of control the pace, to zone them off. Um, and let's just say that we didn't find a pick here and I don't want to be stuck here for the entire round. Um, I kind of only want to stay there until they take banana control and then I might want to push start falling back because I don't want to stay here the entire round and just get popped and by getting popped I mean these guys can be set up on the wall and they can just throw a simple pull flash uh, which is the flash that's going to blow up in my face and then these guys here on the corner are just going to instantly pop around and I'm going to get caught out in a bad spot and I might just lose this round so so we've just fallen back from doing the aggressive pick down banana. Um, I'm going to play around steps. I don't want to fall back to the last line of defense yet. I want to give myself another opportunity to hopefully get a frag or catch someone shoulder, shouldering a little too much or someone who just flat out tries to peek me. Um, 
I'm going to kind of sit here and give myself another 15, 20 seconds to look for another kill. If they push me off with a flashbang, I'll jump back into the site. And my first instinct, instinct is to play a bit more safe. Um, since they push me back, they use their utility. You know, they've earned it. I'll give them top banana and I'll just play in the site and let them execute on me. Um, my, one of my first options is to go to triple. Um, it's a good spot, though it can be, be very prone to flashes. And a lot of, pe a lot of people like to Molotov triple and it gets this entire area and then once you're flushed out um that's when they start throwing you flashes and they want to their goal is to get you out in the open that's why they throw the molotov here um so they flush you out and then the flashes come over and they pop you in the face and you're blind and you don't know where you're going and that's when they rush in um otherwise if you don't want to go triple you can play a more um passive angle which also gets molotov i mean this whole bomb site gets molotov so it's really tough when they execute on teams um, better yet, if we don't want to play, um, if we don't want to play triple, um, and we don't want to play like emo pillar, emo pillar is a good spot to play as well, except for, um, it's very prone to flashes depending on where you stand. Also, it can be very tough if you do get blind because you don't really know where you are. You might like catch a shoulder out. You might be sticking too far out one side or the other and you get caught off and you just, you know, die out in the open, like nothing you can do. Um, otherwise, if you do end up bl like blocking the flashes with this pillar in front of you, um, it can be very rewarding because you can catch the first one and then kind of hide back and then kind of shoulder yourself back and forth and using this pillar's protection. Um, though it's a very risky spot, um, it can also be very rewarding depending on the situation. Um, other, other than that, if you want to play really, really safe, you can play all the way back in this corner here where you're also... Um, given this opportunity to pick anyone who wants to walk into this corner here, which doesn't happen very often, but when teams do try to walk into B bombsite with an op, um, the offer is going to be clearing spawn first, and then what we'll do is a walk out, he'll clear coffin side, he'll clear bottom coffin, and he'll keep swinging, keep swinging. He's going to check top top first, and then he's going to come over here and peek you. And, you know, oftentimes, offers do walk into this angle. It happens all the time, so this will also give you another option to find a pick. And let's say, for instance, that you don't want to play site. Let's just play retake B. Um, maybe you're up numbers 5v4. Maybe you're not. Maybe you just don't have much utility. Um, it could be whatever, whatever the setup. Oftentimes, um, we have a guy boosted spawn here, and then you know I might play here and actively be looking for a pick. This is a very common spot for offers to hold, though it's very prone to flashes because there's nothing blocking you um, from being blind by literally any flash that's thrown over and you can't see the flashes anyways if you're zoomed in so um that was a really good spot you're open to flashes and that'll force you off and you can either choose to fight it if your team is close enough and if they're running in or something and you want to throw like a cell flash to kind of get yourself back in the fight and you jump up and you know kind of you know just helping your uh, teammates in any way um that's always an option or if you want to just completely give sight while they smoke up coffin and you just want to play complete retake, that's perfectly fine as well. And you can just hold back hall until your teammate arrives and you guys can do a coordinated retake from back hall.